I'm Professor Douglas Murray. I'm the chair and a professor in the food systems uh, concentration in the Nutrition and Food Studies Department at Montclair State University. Very happy to talk to you today a little about our programs and our labs and some of the student outcomes. Hello, I'm Caitlin Overgaard. I have my bachelor's and master's degree here from Montclair State University in Nutrition and Food Science. Right now we're standing in the clinical um, room of the nutrition department, usually used by dietetic students or commu community nutrition. So right here we have our state-of-the-art dummy. So this is really great to help um, initiate tube feeding and really get a good understanding of the resistance that it will have when students have to go out into the field and use this. We also have great models to show the difference between muscles and fat within the body. We even have a USDA plate, which helps show students the real portion sizes that they would have to give their clients. Hi, my name is Angela Moresi, and I attended Montclair State University as an undergraduate student as well as a graduate student. During undergrad, I studied dietetics. I really enjoyed learning about food and its composition and then how it interacts with the body when it's consumed. And then I went into food science because I really enjoyed learning about the business side of the food industry. So the room that we are in, this is where the undergraduate students get their very first hands-on experience in food science. This is our experimental lab. This machine that we have here is both a hot plate and a stir plate. So we can raise the temperature. This is great for dissolving solids as well as mixing them. This is our water activity meter. This measures free water within a substance. So if you've had raisin bran and you see that the raisins are covered in sugar, water activity is the reason for that. They cover it in sugar to bind the free water so the cereal part doesn't get all soggy. Hi, my name's Alexa. I'm a graduate student here at Montclair State. I am going for my Master's of Science in Nutrition and Food Science. And I chose Montclair because it's a program that combines the education of nutrition and food science. So that's something that I was looking for and I want to take into my career possibly in the field of product development. Once I started my graduate studies here at Montclair State, I was very impressed with the facilities that are accessible to us, such as the food science lab that I'm currently standing in. So I've been doing a lot of my thesis work here and I've definitely learned a lot and will take this information on to my career. This is actually the machine that I'm using for my thesis project. So this is a gas chromatograph. And what I am doing is I'm working with the vol volatile chemistry of cold brew coffee. And what I'm trying to do with that is I'm trying to extract the flavors of different types of cold brew coffee. And the different types are based on their grind size or um, brewing times. So this is the kitchen. What I really like about this is that it combines two things that I'm passionate about, which is cooking and being creative in the kitchen, and then also the science and nerdy stuff that's in the other room. So we can combine those together for product development purposes, for research and development, along with some other things that we might come across in the graduate program. This is like a taste testing room and where we evaluate sensory information from different products that we have uh, individuals tasting. So while they're sitting here and they're tasting something, the camera is picking up on different se sensory signals in their face movements and through that you can actually analyze it and tell what they think about the what they're tasting or you know how they feel or what it tastes like to them and that's very valuable and that's been used again for different sensory studies and then that sensory information can be combined to the work that we're doing in the lab. Hi, I'm Dr. Feldman. I'm a professor of food systems and food studies here at the um, Department of Nutrition and Food Studies, Montclair State University. And this is our quantity food production laboratory. What we do here is we bring together the concepts uh, that we've learned about four different concentrations, nutrition, dietetics, food science and food systems. This is a capstone course, students bring all the um, attributes that they learn in class here. 
We combine lessons learned in our food science laboratories. We bring them here in our nutrition laboratories. So our students work together in groups of food science students, dietetic students, food system students, nutrition students. We all work together. Uh, part of the technology, the state-of-the-art technology that we have brought in this lab is to bring in a TriCaster system, which also allows us to use our high-definition cameras to broadcast uh, the lessons in this class uh, over the internet. So this capability is something that uh, we have brought to our students and, and actually their parents can watch it too. Students who can't come in can view the lessons live in class. So if they're sick, they don't have to fall behind. Number two is we can broadcast these opportunities to other universities, other classrooms, remote classrooms. We, for example, we had one time uh, broadcast to Korea, a uh, lesson that visit, visiting Korean students were doing with our students, again, with cultural diversity. We, we focus on food science, which is really the study of food chemistry, uh, food safety, stability, shelf life, the safe production and distribution of food to the public. We have programs that, that concentrate on clinical nutrition, which is actually hospital tube feedings, uh, things where, where we're actually practicing medicine or food as pathology. We have community nutrition, where we're actually more on the behavioral side of food, people's dietary choices, different uh, outcomes that can happen. And then, of course, the clinical applications, which is dietetics, where we, we teach students about how to diagnose and then actually develop menus and food to treat different disease states. Something really cool that MSU does is they'll partner with industry members. And we've actually partnered with a company called Hudson Valley Cold Press Sunflower Oil. When MSU found out that a company wanted to partner with us and give us one of their products to experiment with, they actually created a product development class for five students and we were members of this product development team where we created a smart snack for kids and we actually entered this product into the Institute of Food Technologists Smart, snack, smart Snacks for Kids product development competition. We were able to combine our nutrition and food science experience experience along with a little bit of marketing by creating a label like this and this took us to the competition in New Orleans. To our alumni who may see this, we'd like to also extend an invitation and, and encourage you to come back. We, nothing to, that professors and the department appreciate more are, are active alumni who are looking to come back and engage with students and maintain the connection with the program. Uh, we would love to see you anytime. We'd love to show you around the lab, show you the latest improvements we've made in terms of facial recognition and sensory acceptability. Many things that we probably have here now that, that maybe we didn't when you came. And we'd love to tell you about it and show you. And, and if you're from another major, we would still love to see you because you're a Red Hawk till the end. Go Red Hawks.